Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once again with important news from Burkina Faso. Today, we're bringing you exciting developments from Burkina Faso, where innovation and international collaboration are paving new pathways for sustainable agriculture and food security. Recently, 110 Burkinabe participants completed an intensive training program on Junkao technology, an agricultural innovation from China that could help transform Burkina Faso's agricultural landscape. Let's dive into what this means for Burkina Faso's agriculture, food security, and even climate resilience. The three-week training program, which concluded just yesterday, was held at the National School of Livestock and Animal Health, INESA, in Ouagadougou. The attendees included agents and officials from the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Resources and Fisheries, along with researchers and educators from institutions such as the Institute of Environment and Agricultural Research, INERA, and Nazi Boni University. These 110 trainees are now equipped with knowledge and skills to produce fodder and edible mushrooms using Junkao technology, a method that has already shown significant success in countries facing similar climate challenges. What exactly is Junkao technology? And why is it so promising for Burkina Faso? Junkao technology, which uses a unique Chinese herbaceous plant, was developed to grow edible and medicinal mushrooms and produce high quality fodder. This plant is highly drought resistant, making it ideal for arid regions like Burkina Faso. According to China's ambassador to Burkina Faso, Lu Shan, the Junkao plant's resilience to harsh climates makes it perfectly suited for environments where water resources are limited. This is a vital asset for Burkina Faso, which often faces challenges related to climate change and water scarcity. During the ceremony, Ambassador Lu Shan spoke of the broader significance of Junqiao technology as a form of China-Burkina Faso cooperation, aimed at not only improving food security but also promoting ecological restoration, job creation, and sustainable development. This initiative represents a practical step towards shared goals between the two nations, tackling food security issues and adapting to environmental conditions in ways that ensure long-term agricultural productivity. Noel Nabi, representing the Burkinabe participants of this inaugural training session, expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to learn about Junchao technology. He highlighted the combination of theoretical and hands-on training that helped him and his peers gain a strong foundation in these innovative techniques. These new ambassadors of Junkao technology in Burkina Faso now have the knowledge to transform agriculture through sustainable practices, and they're ready to be instrumental in the forthcoming rollout of this technology. It's inspiring to see Burkina Faso's commitment to sustainable development, as evidenced by its embrace of this collaborative initiative with China. Alassane Guiré, who represented the Minister of Agriculture at the event, urged participants to actively contribute to implementing Junkao technology across the country. He emphasized that these newly trained individuals hold the key to revitalizing the livestock sector and ensuring food security in Burkina Faso. They're being asked to take their knowledge into the field, spreading the benefits of Junchao technology to communities in need. The introduction of Junchao technology couldn't come at a better time for Burkina Faso. As a nation where agriculture and livestock are central to both the economy and daily life, integrating climate adaptive technologies like Junkao could significantly bolster food production and improve resilience against droughts. Additionally, this initiative has the potential to create new jobs, restore ecosystems, and contribute to a more sustainable and prosperous future for Burkina Faso. So, What's next? As Junchao technology begins its journey in Burkina Faso, we'll be watching closely to see how this partnership unfolds and how this remarkable plant can contribute to the country's growth. This is just one of many examples of how international collaboration can bring about impactful change 
in local communities, especially in a world facing shared challenges like climate change and food insecurity. Stay tuned to Intervlog as we continue to bring you updates on this and other transformative initiatives. If you're as excited as we are about the future of Burkina Faso's agriculture and would like to learn more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We'll keep you posted on the progress of these new Junkao technology ambassadors and other sustainable development efforts around the world. Burkina Faso, 110 Burkinabe trained in Chinese Junkao technology. Participants in the first certification training session on the production of fodder and edible champions with Junkao technology received their training completion certificates this Monday, November 11, 2024, during an official ceremony in Ouagadougou. From October 22 to November 11, 2024, at the National School of Livestock and Animal Health, Eniza, in Ouagadougou. 110 beneficiaries, including agents and executives from the Central and Regional Directorates of the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Resources, and Fisheries. Researchers and teacher researchers from the Institute of Environment and Agricultural Research of Burkina Faso, INERA, and Nazi Boni University were trained on the production of fodder and edible champions with Junkao technology. According to Noel Nabi, representative of the beneficiaries of this first certification training session, this seminar was possible thanks to the collaboration between the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal and Fisheries Resources, and the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Burkina Faso. These three weeks of training, according to him, were rich in theoretical teaching and field application. They allowed the beneficiaries, he added, to acquire in-depth knowledge on Junqiao technology. We have appropriated the techniques of production and valorization of Junqiao, he declared. Lu Shan, ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Burkina Faso, said that this is the first time that the Junqiao technique has entered Burkina Faso which he said is another practical measure for China and Burkina Faso to strengthen cooperation in agriculture. As a drought-resistant plant, Junqiao is able to adapt to harsh climatic conditions and thus demonstrates a strong capacity for adaptation in areas where water resources are scarce, which fully corresponds to the needs of the development of agriculture and livestock farming in Burkina Faso, reassured the ambassador regarding the Burkinabe climate. Lu Shan continued by confident that the promotion of the Chinese plant could enable Burkina Faso to ensure food security while promoting the restoration and protection of the ecological environment, job creation and sustainable agricultural development. Alassane Guiré, director of cabinet representing the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Resources and Fisheries, invited the beneficiaries to be ready and available for the upcoming implementation of this technology in Burkina Faso. Dear participants, you are today the first ambassadors of Junkao technology in Burkina Faso. By acquiring the skills offered by this training, you become the bearers of concrete solutions for the livestock subsector. It is now up to you to be ready and available for the upcoming implementation of this technology in our country, he invited. Burkina Faso President, Captain Ibrahim Traore gave his gratitude to the Chinese Junkao technology. Distinguished guests, members of the government, esteemed representatives from our ministries, honored participants of the Junkao training program, and the revered ambassador of the People's Republic of China, His Excellency Lu Shan, I extend my warm greetings to all of you gathered here today. We come together on a remarkable occasion to celebrate a significant milestone in our journey toward agricultural resilience, food security, and sustainable development. Today, we recognize the successful completion of Burkina Faso's first training session in Junchao technology, held at the National School of Livestock and Animal Health in Ouagadougou. This training was a collaboration between the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Resources, and Fisheries and the Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Burkina Faso. I am truly grateful to Ambassador Lushan and the Chinese government for their invaluable support 
in bringing this pioneering technology to our land. From October 22nd to November 11th, over 100 dedicated professionals, agents and executives, researchers, teachers, and agricultural specialists dedicated themselves to intensive training in Junkow technology. You, the participants, have acquired not only theoretical knowledge, but also practical skills in producing fodder and edible mushrooms with Junkow technology. You are now empowered to take this knowledge into the fields and communities of Burkina Faso, where it will help transform our agricultural landscape. This achievement is monumental. Each of you stands as an ambassador for a new wave of agricultural innovation in Burkina Faso. You have become the torchbearers of Junchao technology, a technology that holds the potential to reshape our agriculture, our environment, and the very livelihoods of our people. Now let us examine the profound benefits of this remarkable technology. Junchao technology, developed in China, allows us to cultivate a drought-resistant plant that can serve as both a high-quality fodder and a rich-growing medium for edible mushrooms. This is more than a plant. It is a solution crafted to meet the challenges of agriculture in arid regions like ours. For our livestock farmers, Junkao provides a new source of nutritious, cost-effective fodder. This plant has the potential to stabilize and strengthen our livestock industry by offering reliable feed. In the past, challenges with fodder availability and cost have created difficulties for our farmers. Today, Junkao stands as a remedy, offering stability and support to our livestock sector, thereby improving meat and dairy production. For our farmers, Junkao represents an opportunity for diversification. Beyond traditional crops, they can now grow Junkao for fodder and explore new avenues in mushroom cultivation. By offering practical and profitable options for farming, this technology promises to reinvigorate our agricultural sector and draw more young people into this essential field. As we consider food security, we recognize the urgency of ensuring that our nation can produce enough to feed itself. Food security is a right, a necessity, and a goal we hold dear. With Junkao technology, we move closer to realizing this dream. This plant allows us to grow both fodder and edible mushrooms locally, creating a reliable food source that we can cultivate in our own soil. Mushroom cultivation in particular represents a new horizon. Mushrooms are rich in protein and vitamins and can be cultivated using Junkao as a substrate. By incorporating mushroom farming, our farmers can introduce a nutritious, high-demand product to local and international markets. This represents a step forward in our agricultural diversity, ensuring our people have access to healthy, locally grown food options. With Junkao, we are no longer bound by the limitations of imported resources or external dependencies. Our communities can cultivate their own sustainable food sources and strengthen their autonomy fostering resilience in the face of environmental and economic challenges. The adoption of Junkao technology presents not only agricultural benefits, but also new economic opportunities for our people. This initiative will create jobs and bring prosperity, especially to our rural areas, where agriculture remains the backbone of local economies. Imagine the impact of Junkao on our communities. New jobs in fodder production, mushroom farming, and agricultural education where local entrepreneurs can invest in Junkao farms, providing products that are both marketable and sustainable. Junkao technology is more than a tool. It is a foundation for economic growth. As we expand the use of this plant across Burkina Faso, we will witness the growth of a new agricultural sector, one that brings income, stability, and hope to our people. In addition to its agricultural and economic benefits, Junkao holds substantial promise for our environment. Climate change poses significant challenges for Burkina Faso, where drought and unpredictable rainfall threaten our food security and livelihoods. In these conditions, we need climate-smart solutions, and Junkao is one of them. Junkao is a resilient plant, requiring minimal water and thriving in even the harshest conditions. It is a safeguard for our farmers against the uncertainties of climate. With Junkao, we can continue to cultivate and produce even when rains are scarce. 
Moreover, Yun Kao is an ally in our fight against soil degradation. Its root system protects the soil from erosion, helping us to preserve the land for future generations. Jun Kao does not only provide food and fodder, it protects our environment, promotes biodiversity, and contributes to a sustainable agricultural future. By integrating Jun Chao into our farming practices, we join the global movement for climate smart agriculture, positioning Burkina Faso as a leader in sustainable farming in Africa. Our success in this initiative would not be possible without the steadfast support of our partners in China. Today, we extend our heartfelt thanks to the Chinese government and the Honorable Ambassador Lu Shan. Your dedication to this project exemplifies the strong and growing relationship between our two nations. China's support in bringing Junchao technology to Burkina Faso is a testament to our shared commitment to sustainable development and food security. This collaboration not only advances our agricultural sector, but also strengthens the bonds of friendship and mutual support between our countries. Together, we are building a future in which Burkina Faso and China continue to learn from each other, to grow together, and to contribute to a more prosperous and sustainable world. To our distinguished participants, I commend your dedication and hard work. You have gained valuable skills that will transform agriculture in Burkina Faso. You are now the first ambassadors of Junchao technology in our country, and I encourage you to share your knowledge widely, to inspire your communities, and to lead by example. This technology offers us an opportunity to create a sustainable, resilient future for Burkina Faso but it will require the active commitment of each of you, government officials, agricultural leaders, educators, and farmers alike. Let us embrace this new technology with a unified spirit. Let us bring Junkao to every corner of Burkina Faso, from the fields of our rural villages to the markets of our bustling cities. Together, we will transform agriculture, uplift our communities, and secure a brighter, more sustainable future for our beloved nation. May Burkina Faso thrive, may our land be prosperous, and may our people always find strength in unity and innovation. Thank you. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog, same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.